Hi and welcome to a quite spontaneous and also short video here from Computex 2018 in Taipei, Taiwan. So I had the chance to play around with the new i7-8086K and here you can see the CPU in my hand and basically today we will do a quick overclocking with the CPU, so extreme overclocking, see how far we can push the CPU and also the lidding to check if the CPU is soldered or not. Because I saw a lot of rumors out there on Reddit and also on other YouTube channels that the CPU would be soldered. So we will check that in today's video. But for just from looking outside at the CPU, heat better looks exactly the same as an i7-8700K. And also if we take a look at the back of the CPU, at the pins, also at the SMD components, resistors, SMD caps, they're all exactly the same. So as the dimensions are the same, we can also just use my Daily Dime 2, place the CPU inside the Bauer Daily Dime 2 as usual, put in the slider from the back, put in the screw, and then we can just tighten the screw to delete the CPU. And I could already feel when I started to tighten the screw that the CPU could not be soldered. I deleted some soldered CPUs before, and actually if you try to delete them in a normal vise like this, you can feel that there is a lot of resistance to it and also a lot of force needed to delete the CPU which is soldered. So obviously it was very easy. It was exactly the same as a Core i7-8700K. And now you can see CPU deleted. You can see the conventional thermal paste between the heat spreader and the CPU itself. So just for comparison, I put a i7-8700K next to the 8086K. The 8086K is on the left side. Core i7-8700K on the right side, you can see they're both exactly the same. This is a picture of the 8086K cleaned with the thermal paste removed. And also if we take a closer look at those pictures, we can clearly see that they both basically have to be the same CPU, just that the 8086K is basically a pre-selected 8700K. So as I said before, we had the opportunity to overclock the CPU live on stage at the G-Skill booth today and we pushed the CPU on the Asus Maximus Apex motherboard. And since the CPU is exactly the same as an 8700K, we could even use the same presets which we used last year to overclock the 8700K. So basically just use our presets, load them up, go to Windows and start pushing the CPU. Once we were in Windows, the only thing we had to do is push up the core voltage to roughly 1.85 volt and then increase the core ratio. We use a temperature of roughly minus 185 degrees Celsius, which is the lowest you can typically reach with liquid nitrogen. And after only like half an hour, we managed to push the CPU already to 7.1 gigahertz. And after a few more tries and increasing the core voltage a little bit more, we managed to push the CPU to 7.2 gigahertz. And from that point on, we had to adjust the base clock of the CPU to push it even higher because just setting it to 7.3 gave us a blue screen. So we ended up pushing the CPU to 7.24 gigahertz, which is quite impressive considering that we didn't really have a lot of those CPUs to pretest. For the 8700K, we managed to push the CPU to 7.3 gigahertz, but we had a lot more samples to pretest and pre-select. So I think if we would have more of the 8086K and more time, I'm pretty sure we could break the record of 7.3 gigahertz, which we previously achieved with the 8700K. But overall, I would say that the 8086K is basically just a good pre-tested 8700K. And that goes for both liquid nitrogen and also air or water cooling. So much about this quick video. See you soon.